Hey everybody, what's up? Peace, Mo from TGOpro.com. Today I'm answering a question um, that I got from Ash. I think he's from India. Hi Ash, and hey, how are you doing? So he asked the following question. Hi, I'm Ash. I tried a lot, but my render passes does not match with the beauty pass. Could you help me please? I'm sending you the 3D files in render element. You did a great Ash by sending me the 3D file because I had to re-render uh, re the EXF from scratch. So, um, and, um, and by the way, I gotta tell you, it doesn't match. There's a problem in the scene and um, uh, there's actually a problem in the passes as well. So I did actually the, as you can see here in Photoshop, I did, um, you know, the multi-pass compositing, just a regular compositing with the regular passes. And it really doesn't match, especially in the carpet here. If we zoom in a little bit, you're going to see like, this is like, I don't know, it's like flat or something in the carpet. And also there's a difference on the cap right here, as you can see. So you're right, it doesn't match. There's something, there's a problem. So I opened the 3ds Max file in order to re-render a brand new EXR file. So I found that you used the, you know, as you can see here, like the separate render channels, right? Well, this one is really great, but I really don't trust anything other than the V-Ray render image file. So yeah, I rendered a new one just in order to test if, if there's something wrong with the passes because of that. Um, and it turns out that yes, somehow, yes. So all I did is just, uh, I used uh, the, the viewer raw image file in order to export the EXR and in the render element, I, I really checked everything. I just wanted to add everything at once. You know, I was lazy. <laughs> so, so after I rendered the EXR file, I went to Photoshop and uh, let me actually walk you through how I do, um, you know, the multi-pass compositing of those render elements. So there we go. Here's the EXF file that I render from scratch. Um, appearance, bird layers. And by the way, in order to open those uh, render elements in Photoshop um, and extract those, uh, those render elements out of the EXF, I use a plugin and it's called uh, Pro EXR, and uh, you know you can you can buy it from here. It's uh, fnord fnordware.com Pro EXR for its last EXR. It costs about fifty dollars. It was the best fifty dollars you can ever spend because you're gonna use it a lot. So um, it works with Photoshop, After Effect, and Premiere Pro, which could be very handy as well with After Effect. So um, there we go. This is the stack that I got in Photoshop. So I'm gonna try to do just a regular um, pass compositing. So what I'm gonna do here is what I usually do is I, I take everything, actually I can just group, add this to a group. Whoops, come on. And I'm gonna call it like other. And here I'm gonna call it passes regular. And I'm gonna keep the RGB as a reference, right? So what I need here is the VR global illumination. There you go. I need the global illumination and I need the, um... okay, just to speed things up, I, I have shopped, you know, those rendered elements. So I have the VR specular uh, soft illumination since we have soft illumination materials here in the scene and uh, refraction, reflection, lighting, and global illumination. Okay, so I can now just close this on other and keep just those, okay? So I'm gonna show up everything and change the blending mode to linear dodge add. And that's it, actually. So as you can see here, we don't have any problem. As weird as it is, it, it you know, I only trust the, um, as I showed you earlier, the VRL image file. It's, it's the one that I use. Like that's it. Um, so, so this is the combination that I do in order to have a match. And you know, we have a difference here in the. Um, I think it's the refraction, the refraction pass. But we can alter this. We're using just the exposure, and we can have the perfect match. But you know, so this is this is how I do the re render elements. And um, I highly, again, I highly recommend that you use. Um, you know, the VA rule image file. Um, so yeah, I hope Ash that you had um, 
the, you know, the, this answer your question. If it's really not clear uh, yet, let me know. I'll do another video. I want you to like get rid of this problem. So, all right, I'll see you in another video. You take care.